How's it going everybody? My name is Monero and welcome to Psychonauts. So this is an older game that I never actually got to play when I was younger and this is one of those games that when people say have you played Psychonauts and you say no they give you the weirdest look like you've got three heads. When it came out it got rave reviews, everyone praised it for its um, style, its humour, its storytelling. So I saw it on Steam for like 10 bucks and I couldn't pass it up and I felt like playing something a little bit more light-hearted because I've been playing a lot of you know more serious games and some horror games recently so let's jump in and start a new game this little fella um, I'm not quite sure how to start a new game oh what's that what the hell is that all right so let's do this I'm very excited the human mind 600 miles of synaptic fiber five and a half ounces of cranial fluid 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. And I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. He has a From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers. Seems to have a brain fetish. Paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. <laughs> this is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. Hell yeah. The rest of you will die. Oh. Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho knight, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. <laughs> Bobby Zilch, I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. What the hell? And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light Monster! <laughs> Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. <laughs> My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. What a badass name. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen. Why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But 
Don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Some inspirational words. Get that soldier a bunk. <laughs> Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kinda. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Alright guys, well it's shaping up, looking exciting. As I was saying before though, this is one of those games that got so much praise and I wanted to play it when I was younger and I don't know why I never did, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't. So here it is, let's jump in and get this started. I'm just going to use the, the name Raz, it's a pretty badass name. Alright. Let's do it. Sleepy time. Alright, oh. settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 <laughs> hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! Someone's angry. Yeah, I'm pretty... I'm looking forward to it. I felt like playing something more light-hearted. Like I said, something... Different. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. What the hell? I think he needs the eye exam. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Okay. That's uh -huh. so like a level look up. up for me if you will. Alrighty. What am I looking at? Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these like side your cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. Awesome. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, hey where'd, he go? where'd the old redneck go? You that come back so here. Familiar. Yeah, get your ass back here. Okay, so to change your camera preference, press your journal. Yep, I already know all that. Exit. Alright, so let's get this underway. Hey, Raz, hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Woo I heard this one time a 
kid was late for basic braiding, and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned hey. blue. But the kid had just drank a soda, and so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. Alright, so I collected a sign mark. We need more sign. Alright, I'm just gonna fix my settings a little bit. Alright, let's get to it. So yeah, I don't know if any of you have played some stuff like um, Destroy All Humans or if you most of you have probably played Jack and Daxter games like that that I played when I was younger and thoroughly enjoyed on the PS2. And they were humorous, they were fun, they were awesome old games and you know you can get Jack and Daxter HD pack for the PS3 now. And this is meant to be like similar in the sense that it's meant to be humorous and fun and witty writing and stuff hey, like where that. Are you going, is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. <laughs> Too late! Bobby, oh, shit. Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Oh. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. <laughs> really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. Oh. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see any class. <laughs> yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. These people have some fucked up appearances. Your journal is a great place, so you can see what you've done so far. What you're going to do. The, they're messed up looking. Oh, you can talk to people. Oh, okay. Let's go talk to the coach then. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. Bring it on. Be pretty. Bring you it sure on. You sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? No. I'm ready, sir. I'm ready, sir. I'm gonna go well, straight then. in. Uh oh. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me twenty. <laughs> Why does he have a door on his head? What the fuck? <laughs> Let's do it, Raz. In we go. So, this is it the mental world. It looks like a dentist office. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Dental dentist office. Where's your nose? It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. <laughs> it's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Yes, I am! This is your last chance to chicken out. No one oh, calls me hey, chicken. Sir, I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. <laughs> but you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. What? Once you do, the war is on. That's it, I'm gonna sock you in the jaw. You, Navy boy! Chicken of the sea, come on, let's go! Can I help this kid out and get him you to leave? Punch him? No way! I'll, I'll do, do it. it! Take it, take it! Let's go! Oh, ah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hear it's what? What kind of obstacle course is? Hey, just exploded. That kid just got killed. <laughs> A mental what? obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection oh. out of here too <laughs> if you don't get moving right now. I've heard it's a bit like Conker's Bad Fur Day, not as adult as Conker's Bad Fur Day, but in the sense... Oh, double jump in, um, there's lots of, like, 
pop culture and movie references and things like that. I already knew that. Way ahead of you, game. Raw! What the hell is that thing? Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. Are you sure? They help you rank up. And when you rank up, you earn new oh, okay. powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that what? figment. Your first fragment, collect a hundred figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you'll earn new psych abilities. Awesome. You can look at all the figments you collected in your journal. Be a piggy, piggy. Where am I going? Oh. What the hell is this hey, thing? What are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. Rah, rah, rah. I need the steamer trunk. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. Okay, that could be anywhere. It's right across the jump. <laughs> you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and get me twenty right now. Onward and upward, soldier. No, oh, I didn't know he would grab. <laughs> what? What is going on? <laughs> What the fuck just happened? Yeah, as I said, I felt like hit that ladder hard, son. saying Show something a little bit more light-hearted and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun already. There's another tag. He's got another emotional bag. Hey, there's someone ahead of me. You son bitch. Oh, there's a pole. Let's do it! Don Commando style. Watch out! Fire down below! Oh shit! Oh, okay. It's one of these situations. It's pretty cool considering it's an older game. I like the design. Oh, it's this douchebag. I'll sort you we out, strong man. This. this is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, <laughs> new kid? Yes. Sorry. What? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> what? The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What What's thing? Oh shit! <laughs> you prick. That's what. You're stupid, new kid. No, you're stupid. <laughs> At least I have all my teeth. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. <laughs> I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. no. It's like the emo girl, is she? Oh, I'm back up. So... There's a more advanced route, is what he tried to say. Maybe I gotta jump on one of these blimps when they come around. Come on, blimp. See that? Jumped on it like, like it was no one's business. Come on. one nightmare. Oh, nope. more of these. Fuck you! Fuck you! I want figments! I want figments! So I was thinking maybe we just jump on a blimp. Doesn't seem to be the case. Damn you puzzle solving games, gonna confuse me aren't you? Hey. What's that? Classified route. Oh yeah! Found the secret path, let's go. Get some more figments. Is that a bad thing? Was I not meant to jump? Oh no, you can just... Oh, okay. Fair enough. Let's get going. 
Give me some juicy figments. I like to suck on your brain figments. It's not weird. The double jump uh, is a bit weird to get used to. I guess it's like an older game with older controls, but you go a lot further than I thought. So I keep jumping over things. Oh, almost didn't make that. Let's go. Did I make it? Oh shit. Almost fell off the edge. That's probably the way I'm meant to go. No. I know that. Oh, I meant to go up. Up we go. More figments, more figments, more figments! Give me all that juicy figments. Hey! Another kid figured this Your out. Your name, Joey. No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. Yeah, That's well, not I'm, my name. I'm gonna say fuck what you. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow. Damn, he's <laughs> rude. <laughs> what an arsehole. What did I do that for? Oh, another figment. Man, these figments are everywhere. I thought it'd be like, hard to get them or something. Maybe the objective is to get a hundred to pass this mission. There we go, power up. Oh, hello. Boing. Dang, my bowels move more than you do, Pokey. Fuck you. So I'm probably going to make this part a little bit longer than I normally would. Just because I want to really get a feel for the game and show you guys what it's going to be about in case you're interested in watching it. Oh, there we go. Climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Oh, cool. Just get on it. What? Like, like a monkey. You calling me a monkey? That's racist. Hey, slow down. See, more motivating. See ya, bro. Bro, you got nothing. What, what's wrong with you? Hey, Dogen. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Let's do it, Dogen. Well, I'm assuming we don't step on the mines. How the hell? Oh. Dogen. Dogen! Dogen. Stop being useless, Dogen. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. God damn it, Dogen. Don't be useless. You get your ass into gear, Dogen, before I whip it into gear. Come on, Dogen. God damn it, Dogen. Yeah, bastard. Anyway guys, I might actually end this part here. As per usual, don't forget to smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more of this series, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, also, don't forget to watch the next part so you can see if me and Dogen make it through the landmine. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.